Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. This video is about mosquitoes. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Mosquitoes love me. I mean, they love to bite me. When at night I walk my dogs, they are all over me. I am the, the person that they like to run. My, my wife will be walking with me where I'm less than I am and they won't even come close to her. So what have I done about it? Two things. I got this hat. Mm, this is not working. And it's basically a mosquito hat. So when you're walking around, you can still see through it. There's a place around here that you can tighten up. There it is. Like that. And so you can walk around. You just have to kind of get used to having that net around your face. It's, it's doable. That way I can walk my dogs. I'm wearing this hat. People are waving at me. They say, oh yeah, there goes Gary. I don't say anything else. But what happens when the mosquito is in your house? It's not like you can take this thing entirely and put it all over your body. So this solved the mosquitoes at night. I also wear a long sleeve shirt. I make sure I wear pants. I make sure I'm protected. I still get bit, but far less. I bought a zapper. This is not inexpensive by any stretch of the imagination. This is 60 bucks. What does it do? It's got, you plug it in. For example, I'm gonna stick it out in my living room. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You plug it into a 110 current, and what it does is it has the potential of putting out 4,000 watts of electrical to basically kill whatever bugs. And it does many different types of insects, which one of them is a mosquito. Easy to set up, easy bulb replacement. That's another 10 bucks if a bulb burns out. Modern design. The bulb doesn't do anything. All the bulb does is attracts the mosquitoes and the flies and it comes to it because it's memorized by seeing this beautiful blue light. I mean, haven't you seen some cartoons like that? Anyway, it's got a 360 mosquito in all directions. It's got the blue light you can see all around. It says its uh, attraction area is a thousand square feet. I don't care about that. I just care that it may work in my living room. Attract the bugs there out of the other bedrooms. And it works best in the dark, which makes sense. Let's see, it says, uh, humanized design comes and hang. Okay, it's got a little ring on the top so you can hang it. Uh, safety frame so you don't get yourself zapped. Removable collection tray so at the end of the night, you unplug it or you turn off the power and you clean off the tray. And the, the package is included with stuff in it. So it's got one bug zapper, one cleaning brush and a user manual can't be this hard to, to figure this thing out. The product model is T9, the input is 110 volt. The current wattage is um, 0.22A. Bulb wattage is 15 watts. The rated frequency, rated frequency is 60 hertz. It weighs 1.65 pounds, almost nothing. I intensity lamp 15 watt grid power up to 4200 volts of electrical grid. It's got a waterproof design for outdoor use. I'm not going to use it outdoors. I'm using this for indoors. But if we ever decide to get a screen and porch, then this thing is going to go up in the patio. All right, let's open it up so I can show it to you. I got this at Amazon.com for $65. All the details you have already seen that because I always put my information package in front. Because some people need to know right away huh, what it is. Almost time for lunch. I'm not eating these bugs. I'm vegan. We're not allowed to eat bugs. Not that they don't deserve, let me tell you. I think it's only fair we get to eat their, their, their body parts like they're doing on us. Vegans don't eat bugs. Okay. Got the plastic away. I'm just gonna show you real quickly. I'm gonna turn off the light. Oh, you can see there's a lot of output. Just 
must be the easy tray that's not so easy to open. directions after all. I am undoing the cord so I can make it to this little area I have right over here. I have a plug here on my... Alright, model T9 instructions. Okay, unpack, blah blah blah, you turn it on. Outdoor solution, don't care. Yeah, you have to unlock it. It's to prepare a ball for replacement. Oh, that's to replace it. Okay, I still don't see, it's got a something inside here that says, yeah, that's just the bulb. So this, I can see the bulb is, the bulb is out by one Phillips screw. And this has got to be the way you, you clean up the bug, because the bugs would be falling out. So I'm just going to put that loose. Okay. I know the foot works. Try it someplace else just in case. Select proper location, plug cord and a uh, or a extension cord. Once plugged in power outlet, the device is active. Light should eliminate and the bug zapper is ready to use. Not working. It shows signs of accumulation of dead insects on the live electrical grid, occasionally cleaning with the wire. Okay. It's recommended that this unit be placed in a Early spring or late fall for best results. The device is designed with stand moderate rain. Probably not a hurricane, but moderate rain is okay. Unplug device when not in use. I'm not gonna read you the on. Oh, it's off, but I just have to find it. Place the unit. The unit will be on once it is connected. Philip. Well, it doesn't appear to me like it's on. Okay, maybe my electrical unit. Yeah, one of these plugs that's on a, a timer. It looks to be okay. I mean, if you saw me unpack it. Problem with this thing is with no on and off, you have to physically unplug it every single time. That might be a problem for us. Okay, lift grade, wearing gloves, gently pull the, the plug out, the bolt out. Removing and cleaning. Okay, troubleshooting. The bulb does not light and no high voltage on grid. No electrical power. Check fuse or circuit breaker. Well, we tried several plugs, it didn't happen. Bulb light on but no voltage on grid. Examine grid cleaning. Okay, grid voltage present but no bulb do not light. Bulb not seated properly, bulb burnt out. Intermittent or continuous sparkling. The bulb no longer attracts insects. That's because they got smart. One year limited warranty, it's going back to home to, to amazon.com. I am very frustrated because now I am not protected in my own house, which is why I wanted to spend this money for the first place to buy the best bug zapper I could get my hands on. I will be continuing this video. The next part will be what happened with Amazon did I get another one or did I go for a different model? And at this point, I'm quite upset. I'll probably go for a different model. All right. It's unusual for me to buy a brand new something from Amazon and it not work. It happens once in a while. All right, so I'm gonna to try to plug it in again. Okay, what do we have here? Let's make sure the plug really does work. see there's power so that's not the problem the dogs love popcorn which is why they're eating the floor okay so let me plug this in one more time just in case I for some reason am unable to follow simple directions nothing okay it's going back what a bummer well the hat doesn't need electrical power. I got this at Amazon.com. Three, they're not the best quality. They're kind of weird putting them on. You have to first, um, oh, I see. Okay, 
So let me explain to you how the hat works, because I said that very loosely in the beginning. So you don't want to walk around with this thing. So what you do, all right, so you've got this netting. This doesn't work, it's going to be returned. Get this netting. If you don't want to walk around like this, so what you do, this hat's really cool. You just fold it, and on the top here are these little snaps. And they go all around the hat. This way, you can wear it to different places until the mosquitoes who think they're going to get a nice healthy meal from you. And see, we just, I'm gonna, you're showing me, I'm showing you how to put this all back in. Now this is not what I call a, a, a hundred dollar hat. The um, snaps are plastic. Probably after you use them a bunch of times, they'll probably not work very long. You have three hats to choose from. It more than fits. And then a lot of my friends do this. They tie their hats there. Their... Now you look like a jungle person fighting the mosquitoes of the world. Unite! Eat mosquitoes! Okay, don't eat mosquitoes. There's a bug. There's a... That's not vegan. That's not the way to think. Keep them away from eating you. All right. This, this thing didn't work, but that hat does work. All that information will be at the front of the film. I hope you enjoyed this crazy video and I'll be seeing you soon. And the entire house is full of mosquitoes. And somehow, I had forgotten the door open, so the dogs, which I thought were outside, went in and out throughout the, the time while I was away. And I sat down to just kind of relax with a cup of tea, because you know, I'm a teetotaler. And I got severely chewed up enough that it gave me enormous reaction. And when I looked at my arm, it started swelling up and I'm saying, whoa, I'm getting a reaction. And I went to the sink, I washed my arm, and I saw like 30 bites. And I knew right away I had been attacked by the killer mosquito. And I've had this box now for about a week. And I was saying to myself, well, we're not going to need it. It's 50 degrees at night over here. We're not going to need to use the killer box to kill the mosquitoes because they're dead. But obviously, it's been warming up again. The eggs have hatched again. The young ones are hungry. Gary's available, so they say. Let's go to our smorgasbord. There's a free arm available down at Gary's place. This is not going to be a long video. So I bought this at Amazon.com. It's called a New Upgrade Solar Bug Zapper. This one costs about the same price, and I'm hoping it works coming out of the box because I need it tonight. So it says there, LED lantern, press the lighting button to change the lighting mode from 100% lighting to medium 60% lighting and to go off. Insect, insect zapper, press the mosquito killer switch button to turn the insect zapper, UV LED and electric shock grid on or off. Do not lick it. To charge, oh that's not good because I need this now and looks like I'm gonna to have to charge it. Okay, let's get it out. It comes with a little charging and it comes with a brush. This is nice, a little bit longer than the other one. Let's get rid of the box. At least that part. It comes in a nice plastic bag. Okay, this must be the LED. There's a, um, while it charges, hopefully it'll be enough so I can go to bed tonight. Now I've got to find a place to plug in this uh, USB thing. And normally I have one over here. I'll be back in a minute while I go over and get it. Yeah, this is so new, I forgot to take the labels off the top of it. Stick it on your power unit. This is the dandy dandy light that you can read from, but you can't. Oh, look, you can see some of it. Okay, it might be enough of a light 
to attract the little insect over. Okay, so these buttons here, there's buttons here on the side. Now press them, you can see. And one turns it on, and then dimmer, and then off. I need to find the one that says kill or to be killed. So carrying kiss. Mm -hmm. How quaint. I can walk around like this. Sup, 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 sup. You just kill the little mosquitoes all around the block. Alright, enough siblings. Okay, high voltage, risk of electric shock. Keep out of reach of children, but not mosquitoes. Do not clean while powering. I think nothing should be done with water and electricity. This product will generate electric spark. So avoid using it in a place with dusk, probably a good idea, and place it with flammable material such as gasoline and things like that. Note, the device cannot rely on solar panel for a power supply around the clock. Well, that's a bummer. The device needs to be charged with the help of USB when the power is low. Well, that seems kind of a waste, don't you think? All right, so it comes from this comprehensive building, industrial park, I have no idea. Senchen, China, 518110. There's also Kleis Incorporated, 1227 Spruce Street, Boulder, Colorado, 80302, and the email support. Ooh. So, the picture kind of shows you that when the light goes on, the mosquitoes rush to it because they're so. They want to get to that blue light and zap! Just, well, not like that, but when they touch the grid, they get fried and dust that kills that one mosquito. What I haven't figured out is where this charging is. Because you're supposed to press a switch. All right, let me go back. When, when you can't figure out something, look at these highly complicated directions. All right, this is called the light, lighting. The first one is the UV switch, which I am, well, I don't even think it'll work with the power on. The, the hanger, see that. The USB port, which we're doing right now. The solar panel on top. The LED switch. Supposed to be over here. It'd be in the power grid. Okay, the reading light supports a vertical and horizontal at 80 degree, degree flip. Ooh, 180, 180, well, whatever, you know, 180 degrees. Okay. Uh, press the lightning button to change the lighting mode from 100% lighting to medium to 60. Okay, so I guess you have different. I have to find, okay, so the UV, this button right over here, not this one here, right here, when you press that button, ah, there it is. This is what I've been waiting for. Now, what I'm gonna be doing next is turning off the lights. I'm gonna pretend I am a Canadian mosquito. I hope you can still see me. I'm a Canadian mosquito. I'm coming into the blue light and ah! I am now history. Well, the mosquito is history. All right, so why do I say I'm a Canadian mosquito? I was originally born in Montreal, Canada in the year 1952, which makes me 71 years old. But I have been in the United States since I was 12. I am a U.S. citizen, and because of the way my father brought me to this country, I could even become the president, which I do not want to be. Trust me, I don't see any presidents having any fun being the president. Okay, <coughs> Park. So it's got some fancy things there with solar, the USB Type-C, that must be what this is over here. You can see the blue light. And it's, if you're a mosquito, Canadian or otherwise, and you see that blue light, you will run to it, and you will be going to mosquito hell, hopefully. Okay, oh, this the package list. It says here, one mosquito killer device. This is it right here. 
this huge instruction panel, one type C cable, that's the cable I was using, and one brush. And uh, note, the device cannot rely on solar panel, we talked about that. Warning, please close the door and windows when, when do bedroom mosquitoes, okay. So you basically, you want to keep the, all the lights turned off so that the mosquito right here, which I'm going to leave this on as I turn off one light one at a time, the mosquito should rush to it and thus eliminate itself, hopefully. Thank you very much for watching this video. Short as it is, silly as it is, I hope everybody had a good holiday and we'll see you soon. This is where I look up. I look like at morning. I kind of like slept in late. What I see is the blue light is still on and I don't see any flying mosquitoes coming. So maybe it worked. I'll be doing this for the next few nights, especially if I leave the door open. Maybe this is a good product to protect your family. Maybe it works well enough so that I can do my thing in my house and I don't have to worry about these things attacking me. All right, so I'm still here, turning off the lights. I gotta turn this off. I'm just gonna unplug it. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, the reason for that is this is when I buy these lights. I'll even make a short video of those lights. All it is is the power turns off, they turn on, protects the entire house. Okay, everyone have a good night. See you soon.